decor video to start off with. Here's my pretty Frosty the Snowman Jim Shore. I got this on vacation last Christmas and I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. And then in my box of my flowers, I put some starlights. And these starlights I found at Target this season. They're battery operated, which I love because I can put them anywhere. I don't need to be near an outlet. Next, I have this Mickey. And I got him on vacation about three or four years ago. And then this Let It Snow sign is from the Target dollar spot this season. And all of this was on my shoe rack in my entryway. And the shoe rack we have is from Ikea. And the other piece of furniture in my entryway I have is a telephone stand that we had redone. It's from my childhood. I just put those jingle bells on. And I have this cute little pillow that says, In this house we believe that I found in the tar Target dollar spot. The other red pillow is from Kohl's a few years ago. This red truck is from Big Lots. So, so cute. And that little Santa behind him is from the Target Dollar Spot. And as we walk in from the garage, this is what you see. You see this cute little Merry Christmas sign. I believe I got him from Hobby Lobby last year and then this wooden snowman was my mother's from when I was little and she donated a lot of her Christmas stuff to me a few years back. And then above next to our welcome sign as you walk into the kitchen, I hung a mistletoe. I have already caught my husband under it a few times. It's been fun. In my formal living room, I have a cabinet that we keep our litter box in. And I just put a candle on there and a cute little towel, this red snowflake towel. I believe these were from Target last year. I'm not sure my mother gave them to me. This pretty red cardboard tree and that Winnie the Pooh decoration was actually a cookie stamp. So, so cute. And this candle holder is from the fall, but I thought it transitioned well into Christmas time as well. And this plant we got from Ikea, but the actual pot that it's in is an old pot from a few years ago that I had just saved. And I just went ahead and stuck the plant in that has a Christmas theme. This picture I bought this year at Kirkland's it says believe in the magic of Christmas and I just love it. It goes perfectly with all my other decor. Now in our formal dining room we have these blue Christmas plates. They go all the way from 2009 until I believe 2016 maybe 17 no 2016 <laughs> um, we love these we keep these up all year long I know that they are really winter and Christmas focused but they were a gift to us from my husband's grandparents every year they gave us one and we just love them now I wrap my pictures that I have in my dining room at Christmas time in cute little Christmas wrapping paper. I found this wrapping paper from Target as well as the bow and I just think it gives the room a fun extra festive feel. And how stinking cute is this reindeer? Oh my goodness. I got him from Target this year from the Wonder Shop. So, so cute. Cute. I love it and this ho 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 towel was my mother's again something that she passed down to me these metal galvanized houses I found in the Target dollar section as well as that white bottle tree I found that there in the bell with the stars on it was also my mother's it is a little bell and these plates are from Williams Sonoma there are 12 of them in here and they are each the 12 days of Christmas 
And I love how the case that they came in kind of looks like a little drum, so I leave that out as decoration. And we tend to only use these on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. This runner I got from Ross a few years ago. It's just red on red with different words on it, different kind of Christmassy and wintery terms. Super pretty. I love how this whole dining room buffet area ended up looking. I just think everything pulls really well together. And I love how the bow and the reindeer both have that plaid to them. So, so pretty. Next in my kitchen on my coffee machine, I have this warm up at the cocoa bar sign that I found at Target. And I believe this sign is from Hobby Lobby last year and it just gives all the instructions on how to make a peppermint mocha. The snowman in the window is from my mother-in-law. She sent that to me a few years ago. And then I just have this cute little Olaf. I think I found him at Target a few years ago. There's another one of those cookie stamps, the Winnie the Pooh one and Piglet 2, walking around in the snow. And these are for sugar cookies. And underneath is a little stamp that you can stamp into your cookies. I've never actually used these for cookies. They've just been decoration. Maybe one of these years I'll use them. I just don't want to. I don't want to ruin them. I think they're so cute. My town has a pop-up Christmas store this season. It's so cute and it's where I found this countdown to Christmas. He's so cute. And over here I found this greenery in the Target dollar section. And the house that it's in is from the Harfin Home collection that I got back in the fall. And the Nutcracker, the silver one, is from the Target Dollar Spot, and I'm not sure where the green and red one is from. And that milk bottle is just from when I was little, when we lived in Scotland. These, this Believe sign is from the Target Dollar section, as well as these houses. And so is this Merry Christmas sign, and I chose to put this on the framing of my window in my kitchen and I love how the light above just shines down on the houses. I think it makes it look so angelic and so pretty. Isn't the snow outside so fun? I loved that I got to film this on a day it was snowing. It just happened to work out best that day. So fun! This nutcracker is from Macy's probably about 12 years ago. So he's quite old and he sits in my kitchen. And then next to him is just this fun little snowman and all his little pictures and spells out the word snow. On the other side of my kitchen where we have our computer desk, I got this red truck Christmas sign from the Christmas tree farm where we picked out our tree this year. And on the other side of my calendar, I have this let it snow snowman sign. He's a snowboarding snowman. <laughs> My table is new from Ethan Allen and I am loving it so far. I got this runner from Pottery Barn this year. Anything I can find that's new from this season, I'll try and link it below. This runner is stunning. Such a beautiful red color. I love the Santa sleigh with the reindeer. The embroidery on it is just 
gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And the fun little detail of the jingle bells down at the bottom on all four corners of this runner was so, so fun. And in the middle, I have the candlesticks. These candlesticks are from my husband's grandparents. When we got married, they gave us this set. This is my actual first year of putting them out. And I polished them up and shined them up. They are absolutely beautiful. And the runner looks exactly the same on the other side. I love the way the table turned out. It looks so fancy. <laughs> our new table, I'm loving it. I will link our table below. It's just gorgeous. I love it. I have the letters to Santa in the corner there. I'll put that next to our Christmas tree once our elf comes. And this little village is from Costco this season. This candle holder is from Bath and Body Works and I got this maybe eight years ago. I'm sure you can find something similar this season. This snowman box is from my mom. It's from her collection. I had Christmas music playing while I was filming this. It was really fun. I believe that's a bugle on that box. That box might be upside down. I'm not sure. <laughs> and then a silent night container. I don't have anything to put in these. I just think they're fun. Next to the snowman. This is a Hallmark snowman. I believe from the year 2010, I'm not sure, but he sings fun little songs and lights up and dances around and my kids love playing with that. This runner is from Kohl's about maybe eight or nine years ago. Um, I love decorating with snowman. They're by far my favorite Christmas decor items. So I just, the colors in this are absolutely pretty and I love it. In my family room, I have this Lumiere, and he sits out all season long. And I turned him on and put new batteries in him, and look at him flicker, he's so pretty. I really want a Cogsworth to go with him. And above that in this media center, I have a snowman candle holder that I just put a little snowman in, as well as another galvanized house that I found at Target. And I love the white roofs on here, how they sparkle, they're just so pretty. And then this metal frame and the jingle bell are also from the Target dollar spot. These books are so awesome. They are adult pop-up paper books and I'll show you a few in just a few minutes of what they look like when you open them up. I love these. They're so cool to look at. On the other side of our entertainment center, I got this from Yankee Candle about maybe 12 years ago. It's just a candle holder and I have um, a battery powered tea light in there. I don't like to put real candles and light them inside my media center. I just don't think that that's very safe. And then up here next to these pictures I have a little milk bottle with a Santa Claus on it. I believe this is from Crate and Barrel a few years ago. We use this to give Santa milk on Christmas Eve. So we'll just leave that in the media cabinet and use it for a decoration until then. And on the top on this side I have another Winter's Tale pop-up adult book. And by adult I just mean they're very fragile. You do not want your children running around with these and playing with them. On the floor in between the fireplace and the media center I have this cute little Jingle Bells pillow. That was my mother's. 
and this stitch is from Disney a few years ago. Now this 12 Days of Christmas book sits on top of my fireplace. The kids can ask me to go through it with them and I will show them, but guys, these are so gorgeous, so pretty. This one was my mom's when I was little and the other one was also my mom's when I was little. The Winter's Tale and the other 12 Days of Christmas was mine. This Believe sign is from Target as well as that cute little red truck. He's from Target as well. And this 12 Days of, or I'm sorry, and this Night Before Christmas book, guys, if you can find these, I'll try and find them and link them down below. They are amazing books to read to your kids at Christmas time. This page has to be my favorite where the reindeer just sort of jump out at you and Santa's back there in his sleigh. <laughs> I love these books. On the other side of the fireplace, I have this red ho 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 pillow, again from my mother. And these white houses are from the Target Dollar Spot at Halloween time in the fall. They have these out. Now I bought these because I thought the top of them looked like snow and they light up so pretty. Around our fake Christmas tree, which I chose to put in our family room this year. I put my son's H.O. Thomas train track, and he's been loving playing with that this season. The tree skirt was my mom's, so I took that from her. She let me have that. This tree is from the Wonder Shop last year, and all of these ornaments are ornaments from my husband's grandmother that she's given to us. And everyone in the family gets an ornament like these every year. They do open up and contain a little fun little chocolate inside of them. This tree topper is from, I want to say Kohl's a few years ago. I'm not quite certain exactly where this tree topper came from. It was mine, but it's been so long and we've had it so long. I just don't remember where it came from. Here's a good overview of everything in the family room. Super fun and festive. On one of the side tables, I have this snowflake snow globe in, I believe this is something you would put a candle inside of, but I chose to do a snow globe. This let it snow pillow is from Big Lots this season. A fun little snowman and a cute little owl. I love that. On our other side table is this sleigh from the Target Dollar Spot and these cute little Rudolph socks. My mother-in-law gave those to my little boy when he was maybe one and a half or two. He wore them one year and I just could not get rid of them. They're so cute and I use them for decoration every year. These 12 Days of Christmas pillows, I believe, are from Target maybe four years ago. And the Disney pillows are from Disney last Christmas. This Grinch Merry Merry Christmas pillow is from Kirkland's. And on the back it has this cute little fun Paisley Grinch design. And on the other side of the couch, I have those same pillows, the Disney and the Five Days of Christmas. In my downstairs powder room, I have this nightlight from Costco and just some white towels that say Winter Wonderland on them. Now down into my basement, this is our first year having our basement finished for Christmas, so it was fun figuring out how to decorate there. I made these with my kids last year, the little reindeer foot and handprint designs. This is where they hang their backpacks up, and I put a fun little countdown there for them to change every day, once we get to December 1st. <laughs> I made this snowman wreath about three years ago. It was the first one I've ever did and the only one I've done since. 
I haven't ventured out there to do any more, but he's fun. Super pretty and sparkly. And then on the door to our pantry, I just have a fun little snowman doorknob hanger. And in one of the windows, I put some stuffed animals that I put inside of this snowflake basket and just have them sitting up there in the window. And down underneath the TV, I have, well, on this door, I have our light-up necklaces from Disney last year, the Christmas ones that the kids can play with if they want to. And under our TV down here in the playroom area, I put my Christmas Zoom Zooms from my advent calendar last year, and just a bunch of stuffed animals for the kids if they want to play with them, and Santa hats if they want to put those on. Our Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer from Build-A-Bear a few years ago, and this snowman countdown. And then down here I just have all of our Christmas books. I put those out there for the kids, and they know they're allowed to read these whenever they'd like to. Bring a book to me and I will read it to them. Once we get closer to Christmas, the kids will pick a book every night from this section, and we'll read a Christmas book. In our basement bathroom, I put all of our Santa decor in here. It was fun to decorate this bathroom again. All of this space was new to me this season. We just finished our basement in the spring. Look how cute that little handprint from my son last year. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. Please give this video a like if you loved watching my home decor video. Please hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys have a wonderful time decorating your homes for the holidays this year. And I will talk to you all later. Bye!